Lana. I found your necklace. After all the pain it caused you, I'm surprised you still have it. How could I throw away something that means so much? I still remember seeing you wear this in high school. I couldn't get within five feet of you without falling over. And even after your ship got rid of the kryptonite, there always seemed to be something standing in our way. Not anymore. We're together now, Lana. I'm not going to let anyone take that away from us. Clark, I talked to Dr. Girl about what happened with the kryptonite. It wasn't the chip. It was me. So besides strength and speed, you can destroy kryptonite? No. Dr. Grohl says I absorbed it. But I'm worried, Clark. If Lex built this as a weapon, what if you were the target? But Lex isn't wearing it, Lana. You are. Look, we're going to figure this out. But we need to stay focused on tracking down this bomber before he causes any more damage. Did you find anything? Yeah. You were right. Oliver was hiding something. He thinks the bomber was someone he used to work for. I went to that address listed there, but he doesn't live there anymore. According to this, Mr. Schott is a pretty prolific inventor. He filed a lot of patents for Star Labs. A guy like this, he wouldn't just stop registering his research because Oliver let him go. So maybe the patent office has a current address for him. If this guy's working for Lex, we're dealing with a lot more than just some toy maker. If Lex put things in motion, he has planned three moves ahead. And now that he has nothing to lose, he's more dangerous than ever.